These three ingredient dog treats are simple to make, free of common doggy allergens, high fiber, and rewarding for both you and your dog. I couldn't let our first Valentine's Day as Tasty Thrifty Timely go by without giving you a recipe for your best friends. So many of you tease us with your adorable pictures of your dogs, so I wanted to create something for you to say I love you to those most important in your life. In the spirit of Tasty Thrifty Timely, I'm going to make 40 to 50 dog treats with this small dog bone biscuit cutter, and it's going to cost me less than a dollar. The biscuit cutter actually cost me more than this whole batch of treats will. And the three ingredients I'm using are mashed sweet potato, all natural peanut butter, and ground oats. A pretty tasty combo, even for us, right? And if you're thinking cooking sweet potato for the purpose of dog treats isn't the timeliest, you're in luck. You can use canned pumpkin puree. Just open up a can of pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, and the only ingredient should be 100% pumpkin, and you're ready to go. Today I'm using sweet potato that I previously baked and froze. You can bake or boil a bunch of these and then keep them whole or mash them and freeze them for easy to use portions. Stir together half a cup of mashed sweet potato and a quarter cup natural peanut butter. Once again, make sure that the only ingredient listed for your peanut butter is peanuts. No sweeteners, no additives. And since a lot of dogs are sensitive to wheat, I've gone with oat flour for this recipe. But if your dog isn't sensitive to wheat, then feel free to use whole wheat flour. To make oat flour, grind one cup of oats, I'm using quick oats, into a fine flour and stir the oat flour into your sweet potato peanut butter mixture. I find it easier to mix the dough with my hands. Turn the dough out onto a silicone mat or piece of wax paper and lightly roll it out to between a quarter and a half inch thickness. This is where you can really start to customize these treats for your dog. If you have a bigger dog, use a bigger biscuit cutter and keep the dough a little thicker. And since this dough doesn't have any rising agents, the thickness of the baked biscuit will be pretty much the same as it is now. Use the biscuit cutter to cut out the treats or simply cut the dough into square treats and lay the treats on a prepared baking sheet. Reform the excess dough, roll it out again, and keep cutting treats until all your dough has been used up. Bake the homemade dog treats at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, your dogs are gonna be so happy. If your dog prefers softer treats, take them out around 10 to 12 minutes. And if they prefer crunchier treats, then you can leave them in for 15 and allow them to cool completely, then store them in an airtight container or bag in your fridge for about a week or freeze them for up to two months. This easy three ingredient homemade dog treat recipe makes 40 to 50 of these small treats and costs us 83 cents versus about $10 to buy store-bought treats. So click the link below for this recipe, show your dog some love, and leave us a comment letting us know how they like it and put lots of cute details of your dog in there. And show Brian and I some love by hitting that subscribe button. We have a new video for you every Sunday at five, and sometimes we sneak in a bonus video like we did today. So follow along. And yes, I'm gonna eat it. It feels weird to eat something shaped like a dog treat, but you gotta test it. Well, pretty good actually. <laughs>